absolutely. I mean, the kid just has limitless potential. And, um, you know, speaking of, speaking of kids, you know, right now, obviously, you know, you're 30 years old. But back when you were a kid, man, 16 years old, and this story has been told several times by the UFC president, but you used to teach jiu-jitsu to Dana White and Lorenzo Fertitta, and this is obviously before they were involved in the UFC. What was that experience like, and then how surreal is it now to, you know, have those guys as your bosses in the largest MMA organization in the world? Yeah, it's it's amazing. I was uh I was a purple belt at the time. I was about 17 and I was in Vegas training uh with John Lewis and all I all I did was train and watch videotapes and uh I was I was pretty good on the on the competition circuit, you know. This was all all I did. Um so you know, John was coaching uh Frank Lorenzo and Dana at the time and uh, since it was the three of them, he had he had asked me to come along, you know, to 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 help out and you know, I, I went along. I wasn't really sure who, who they were. Uh, I knew I knew they were kind of big shots, so to speak, but I, I guess I didn't really understand the scale of it. Um, so I helped them out for about a for about a three week three week period. I think it was in the year uh, around March 2000. And then uh, around six to eight months later, uh, I heard they purchased Zufa. So, uh, so I mean, sorry, I heard they purchased UFC. So it was uh, it's very interesting. Yeah, I mean that's that's just crazy, man. And with, with that said, you know, and this this is probably caused some controversy. This question here, but when Dana and Lorenzo rolled back in the day, who, who got the better of who? <laughs> they, they were all kind of starting at, at the same time. Uh, Dana had come from a, from a bit of a from a bit of a boxing background, and and I, I I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I believe Lorenzo started you know doing some cross training in the striking a little uh, a little after that. But uh, yeah, they were all they were all you know almost almost equal at that stage but they were you know they were still just trying to grasp the the, the basics yeah you can probably catch a chicken in five seconds like you know when, when rocky when he was chasing after the chicken trying to catch the damn thing and and you know mix out there screaming you know crap crap thunder and this and this lightning or i don't know what the hell he's saying but clay Guida can catch that damn chicken in a second you know he just boom the chicken's right in his hand he's throwing it up there on the grill, frying the damn thing, selling it to the colonel over at KFC. But, um, Mark, I got, I got an interesting question for you. It's kind of a crazy question. Um, hope you're not offended by it. I'm just, you know, this is my sense of humor. But every every fighter has, you know, a certain fan base that kind of, you know, that, they, that kind of applies to them. I mean, you know, Nick Diaz kind of has, like, the gangster thugs, you know, whatever, that, that really are attracted to him. Um, you know, the Shane Carwin's got, like, the real, you know, big, juiced-up, you know, powerful guys. You know, lifting weights at the gym. You know, big into him. Um, do you notice a, a, a lot of ginger fans follow you, or? or <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you weren't going to say a lot of homosexual fans or anything like that. But, uh, <laughs> uh, a little, a little bit. You know, I, I get a little bit from time to time. But to, to tell you the truth, it's it's mostly the uh, the the everyday recreational type of fan that you know may not even always know me or recognize me but you know may have may have seen me in fights but it's it's just the the regular type of competitor who just sees what you did sorry a spectator who sees what you did they they respect what you do and you know they're proud of you especially you know here in uh, Ontario you know being a being a local guy and and you know doing my best to represent the sport <laughs> 